Good afternoon. Oh, hello. Welcome to Justified Horizons. My name is Ryan Query. I'm the captain of this 65-foot catamaran. We are a Lagoon 65. We are the fifth one ever built. We are the only 10-pack version ever built. And as we pan around this beautiful flybridge, you will see that we are also the only one with fixed furniture up here. Beautiful lounges to stay in the shade with. As you can see up here, this is late afternoon here in St. Thomas. Um, beautiful surrounds also to protect us from those early morning showers, late afternoon ones that rolled through just to kind of brighten up the color down here while we're in a nice secluded bay. Obviously a beautiful bar on this side full of whatever you would like to have while you're here. Uh, refrigerator, ice maker upstairs also, which helps with keeping everybody happy without waiting. Uh, we're gonna make our way downstairs now. So off the back of the boat right now, we have what we like to call the outdoor living room. Okay, got a nice sofa, beautiful chairs to sit and lounge in. If you're not a swimmer, you're more of a sunbather, this is a great way to kind of enjoy everything while everybody is playing. Obviously a nice 15 foot long dinghy on this side, we can take up to nine passengers in it. Obviously when we have 10, we'll split up groups to make it more comfortable. We have a beautiful outdoor shower also. If you want to rinse off in style, if you hop out of the water, this is where the ladder is also located when it is in. You pop up, rinse off with fresh water, and come inside, okay? Um, next to us here, we have Sea Bob's. This brand uh, is called iAqua. It has lights on the front. Uh, it's computerly, or excuse me, computerly, that's not a word. Okay? It, has a, it has a computer in it that keeps you safe by limiting uh, speed and also depth so you can make sure that your ears do not have any problems while you're cruising the reef looking for wildlife. Uh, it's kind of the easiest snorkeling you've ever done. On the way up the side of the boat, you can see as I spread my arms out here just how wide this place is. Plenty of room. You and your friend or your significant other can hold hands as you walk about the boat. Up front you'll see one of our paddle boards here, along with another one, kayak, which is also a two-seat model, so you and a friend can go out and explore. Tubing for the kids. We also have a <clears throat> wakeboard and water skis to uh, entertain ourselves with. A beautiful shade for up front during that high new sun. You can take a nice break up front, enjoy the breeze that kind of comes through the front. Beautiful loungers up here kind of help ourselves stay comfortable, if you may, adjustable headrests, all that good stuff. So we make our way back down the other side of the boat. Again, you can just see how much space there is available for walking. Plenty of high lifelines to hold on to also, to keep, so you can look over in search of turtles, eagle rays, things like that. This is our other sea bob here. We have two of them. So you don't have to wait on your friend to finish having fun. You can go out and have fun with him. Obviously, this is one of our fishing poles here. That is probably my second favorite thing to do here. The first being scuba diving. Uh, we have a compressor on board. We have all of the gear you could ever want, whether it's BCDs, weights, fins. I'm a dive instructor also, so I do checkout classes. I also do discover scuba diving if you've never done it and you want to try. I am very uh, patient, I guess would be the best way to put it. I, uh, I enjoy making people succeed at it. It's one of my favorite things to do. As you come down inside to the cockpit here, you can see we have a lovely bench over here that either lets you look inside at your friends that may be sitting at this beautiful custom table, or you can sit with your back facing out in the shade, looking at your friends swim, sitting on something else out there, floating around. Uh, there's a space for everyone, okay? Uh, beautiful table here situated right now with seven plates. You can imagine 10 people sitting here, you and nine of your friends very comfortably uh, on this custom table that was made by our owners from Tennessee. This is Tennessee oak inside of it. It's a beautiful epoxy table. Over here, another bar with 
ice maker, refrigerator, sink, all the things we need to continue mixing cocktails and having a great time as we're out exploring. Uh, you can see in this far corner over here, we have towels for everyone, obviously. But you will notice that everyone has a different animal on it. Okay? We've got dolphins, we've got turtles, we've got starfish, we've got rays, and we've got seahorses. Let's see why. Come on inside, I'll show you the rest of the boat. So you can come through these beautiful double doors into the saloon in here. This is an up galley with my wife, Chef Danny, our first mate, Christian. Hello. Down the stairs to the starboard side, as we like to call it. You will find the master suite. On this door, you will find the secret. This is the dolphin room. So your dolphin towels are easily identified. When you come in, you'll find a king size bed. The bed also functions as two twins. You can move it apart in case you have two children that don't want to sleep next to each other. Okay? Here is just a little sampling. These are koozies and shot glasses that you get to go home with. This is your welcome gift when you come about for Justified Horizons. Beautiful monogram towels, little pieces of art throughout the boat to signify where you're actually located. Nice spacious bathrooms. a beautiful mirror to get your nicest dress on for cocktail hour. <laughs> Up here, obviously, you'll see Chef Danny's office. This is where she is at a lot of the time doing her thing, making delicious meals from breakfast till dinner. And dessert. And dessert, absolutely. <laughs> uh, one of the options that we didn't show you is this boat has a completely walk-throughable access. So instead of going around the outside, you basically come up the stairs and out the front door you go into the forward cockpit area. Here you'll find the stingray room at midship. This bed is actually the one of the lower ones, so it helps with uh, guests that might have bad knees or just aren't good climbers like me. Again, a very nice sized bathroom with full shower and everything here, your own private one. Forward we go into the turtle room. The forward cabins on this boat are my favorite, simply because you have this amazing double door shower that even I fit in. I'm not. You can do a whole circle in here and barely touch a wall. So good. side here. Um, as a lot of the brokers know, this year we were uh, challenged to source locally all of our ingredients for the culinary contest, or at least two of them I should say. Um, we have very close friends that own Bryan Mountaintop Farm. Uh, we've known them for nine years. Um, they're fantastic people. Um, they were the first family to let us in and uh, into their island circle. Um, so they're very close friends. We used um, banana and guava and lemongrass and bay leaf and cinnamon leaf among soursop and bread nut and about anything else you could think of locally <laughs> in, uh, in our competition dishes that Chef Danny created this year. Down here at midship, you have the seahorse room, very similar to the stingray room. 
you'll see slight shade changes throughout the boat in each room, whether it's an accent pillow or a sheet color. Forward we have the starfish room, very similar to the turtle room. Again, small accent changes throughout, beautiful little accent pieces on the countertop. Uh, these little bowls are probably my favorite. They're the hardest thing to see with this port epoxy. But this little beach scene is one of my favorites. And up to the saloon we go. As you can see too, ample space in here to have a breakfast if for some reason it's rainy or drizzly outside. We've got ample space in here. The air conditioning is extremely cool. Uh, it's a nice break from the outside heat some days. Um, I prefer to leave that open to the guest preferences. Um, I love cooking Asian um, flavors. I love to use locally sourced um, ingredients as Captain Ryan told you in the video. Um, we have a great connection for local uh, produce which we love to incorporate. But um, it's, all, it's all what the guests want is where I try to um, gear everything. So they, you know, enjoy. A lot of people tend to vacation for the food and the experience. So I want to make sure that the food represents the experience and vice versa. So whatever the guests want is what I'm going to do for you. So let's assume you have a group of foodies on board. What is your signature dish? Signature dish? Um, ooh, I think I love cooking scallops. Scallops are some of my favorite things to cook. Just, it takes a technique. You have to, you know, season them properly. Um, I do a great dish with um, seared scallops, with a um, potato gnocchi, and a white wine parmesan sauce. So it is a heavier dish. We can make it lighter should you want it lighter. But it is very decadent and rich, and um, everyone seems to love it. Um, lots of sage and um, fresh herbs in there as well. Um, I'd, I'd have to say that's one of, uh, one of the signatures. You guys all seem like a really fun group. What kind of life experiences has prepared you for a role as a charter crew? Well, me and Danny have been doing this for seven years. Um, this is uh, the third boat we've ever ran. Christian has six years mm -hmm. of experience also. So, I mean, combined, we probably have the most experience out of everybody down here at this point which is kind of a crazy thing to say yeah with all of us to you know years together it's uh it's kind of a it's crazy a while. thing to say um <laughs> but we have had you know all, all different types of people you know there's people that come that want to do nothing but read books and then there's people that come and they want you to participate in their everyday party that's going on whether <laughs> it's a dance party up top whether it's out here playing games things like that. Jumping you know, off the flybridge. Yeah, jumping off the flybridge. We've always got something kind of going on and we're always trying to be involved with it. Um, I think we um, we tend to take our experiences from prior charters um, where people have had an amazing time and think like, okay, this group would love that as well. And so um, we, we kind of just cater it to what we know and what we can read from the guests as what's going to make them happy. Mm -hmm. And then Christian has tons of experience as well <laughs> well I think not only just our um, boating experience but we've all have called st. John st. Thomas home for over a decade and so just knowing this area and the biggest thing for us is that this is a big chunk of our hearts so we really enjoy um, really making other people fall not making them but <laughs> Wanting them to um, make them. We're going to um, make them do it. Yeah. They're going to love it we when know, they leave. <laughs> we, we know all the nooks and crannies. And um, so it's just, it's, I think they really experience that with us um, enjoying what we do and showing them our islands. So Yeah, it's always fun when you're walking through Cruise Bay or, you know, through town here and somebody's like, Danny, Christian, Ryan. 
And your guests are like, you know that person? And we're like, yeah, we know this person from here and there. And so it, it kind of makes it feel more um, connected. Yeah. What is your favorite thing, uh, food, story about the VI that you like sharing? My, my favorite thing is the, uh, the aquatic environment. Uh, like I said, when we were walking around, I'm a dive instructor. Um, I started to learn diving when I moved here nine years ago and have since progressed to its highest level now. Um, I love showing people the reefs that we still have that we are actively trying to protect, um, the sea life that's still available to us, um, whether it's fishing and or diving um, is, is world class. Um, people come from all over the world and to be able to be 60 feet under the water and look around and see 100 feet no matter what direction you go is, is an experience you can't describe. I would have to say one of my favorite on charter experiences was um, just this past season. I had a little girl. Um, her name was Sky. Hey, Sky, if you see this, <laughs> she's only four years old, and um, I love getting the kids into the galley to help me, um, just because it gives the parents a break from babysitting. Um, and as long as you know, I can I can have them help me in a safe way. Come on in. She made all of the naan bread one night. Like I had her on a stool and she was up there rolling out the naan bread. So I served dinner and the entire time she's like, I made dinner tonight. I made dinner tonight. And she didn't stop talking about it for the rest of the week. And that's one of those things that like really makes you feel good about chartering. Um, to have someone that young enjoy something like that. She's never going to forget that. No, she's not. <laughs> I'll never let her forget it. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, um, again, with working on these, this size boat or even, you know, the smaller, just the catamarans alone, I feel like it's a much more intimate experience. Um, you do have, we have plenty of space. Everyone has their place they can go, but you still feel like you're all together and because we get an opportunity to really get to know them. So... It's always fun to see them get into that comfort and it doesn't take long. And then this, these things come out and probably one of my favorites was I had a, a grandma on board a few years ago and we were at the Willie T or we were over in like uh, the, that area and after dinner all the young kids were headed to the Willie T and Grandma Tay Tay wanted to go too and not only did she go but she went in her bathrobe <laughs> and she got up on the table and was dancing with the rest of them and it was just like I mean Tay Tay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something else so it's just fun to see everyone just kind of like really get relaxed and feel like this is their home away from home and they're comfortable around us so well, you guys did a really good job answering the questions. <laughs> um, I have a further there... question. Okay, let's see. Um, do you do events on board? As far as um, birthdays, anniversaries, things like that. Weddings? So we haven't done weddings on board, but on our previous vessel, um, we did do a, um, a mock wedding for um, East End Flowers. East End Flowers. Yes. Ah. Um, yeah, so we had a mock wedding. Um, it was just post hurricane and so a lot of the you know resorts and the beaches weren't available that you know many people had booked for their weddings and um, so they were trying out to see what it would be like to have a wedding on board where you could have one two three boats all tandem together and things throughout the week um, and it was beautiful there's no reason that it could not work um, but weddings um, we always celebrate every occasion that happens for our guests on board, whether it's birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, things like that. We have the decorations for every occasion. My if we don't have it, we buy it, and we, we um, make the birthday cake, and we make everybody feel special um, for that special day. All right, amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for showing us your boat. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, bye. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>